Hi everyone, welcome to the fifth installment of the Novice End User's Guide to SharePoint video series. Um, so today we're going to actually backtrack a little bit and talk about creating pages in SharePoint because I realize I didn't do a video on that yet. Um, and it's pretty much one of the most essential things that you'll do usually in SharePoint because everything you see on a SharePoint site is on a page of some sort. Um, so today we're just going to learn how to create a wiki page and a web part page, which are um, two of the three main types. The other type is a publishing page. Um, publishing pages are exclusive to publishing sites, and you'd, you'd use one if uh, your business has like a specific approval process for creating new content. So like if, if my manager has to approve every new list or page or site I want to add to SharePoint, then we would use a publishing site, but we don't have that, um, so I'm not going to show you it. Um, anyways, so first thing that we're going to do, okay, so the first page that we're going to create today is a wiki page. Um, wiki, as you might know now, um, is the Hawaiian word for, for fast or quick, I think for quick. Um, but in internet speak, it, it essentially just means like a um, collaboratively editable page. So like a page that multiple people can contribute content to um, without having to check in with each other or get permission, etc. Um, this site is a team site. Um, and so the default page is a wiki page. So to create it, I'm just going to go to site actions, and more options page and we're going to call it this now so this is a, a wiki page out of the box just is a blank sheet that you can type on, you can add any sort of web parts to, um, I'm just going to, and the, the kind of the coolest but also sometimes detrimental part of wiki page is you can create another page just by writing some text with double brackets. And why is this a problem? Because it can be hard to find afterwards. Um, and you can just keep going and going. Uh, you, you can put in columns um, that let you qualify which sort of page, you know, category for your wiki pages, and that makes it a little easier to find. But it definitely, um, navigating these guys can be a little bit of a problem. But anyways, that's how you create them. They're really great if you're working on, you know, a group, project and you just want to be able to like edit you know rough documents on you know as you go um they're not good for structured content creation so if you're making like press releases or i don't know um reports that go out to everyone um i would go with a publishing page and a publishing site but we're not going to go into that today so the other type of page we're going to do is a web part page so a web part page is just, you know, it sounds like it's a page that you put web parts into. Um, it can be stuffed as full as, you know, you can stuff it with like 10 different web parts or you could have like, let's see, um, I'm just going to go with one because it gets a little confusing. Um, um, So this, you know, you can add web parts, like a list, any sort of list, um, pop stars, why not? Um, and yeah, so the, I mean, the, the purpose of a web part page is to um, just display different types of content that you don't, again, don't need an approval process on, but it's not intended for like the sort of same, you know, collaboration process that a wiki is. It's just to display information that you can add too quickly. 
essentially. Um, I'm just gonna give it some text. Uh, content under new content. This is a why their default is like tiny text when you're creating a page I don't know whatever okay so then go back to page etc so this is my new web part page um, and now if I go back to oops, back to my playground And to go to my list of site pages, you can see these new pages that I created um, in the site page library. And yeah, that's about all we're going to tackle today. You can also create these pages in the SharePoint Designer really easily. I showed you how to make a web part page last time. Um, but, you know, if you're already in your browser, might as well do it here. Um, very simple stuff. Um, and I will see you next week. All right, bye guys.